friends the given problem is evaluate integral s f bar dot n bar ds over the entire surface over the entire surface of the region above the xy plane bounded by the cone z square is equal to x square plus y square and the plane z is equal to 4 if f bar is equal to this one here you have to understand the key points are the entire surface okay entire surface uh, bounded by z square plus x square z square is equal to x square plus y square and the plane z is equal to 4 you see if you are drawn this like the cone is this is x axis this is y axis and if you consider this is z axis then the cone will be like this z is a height 4 then in this case it will become this will be a circle x square plus y square is equal to you will have a 4 square is nothing but 16 so this is cone is here in this case the surface is what here closed surface so the closed surface volume uh, is there now so in this case what we can say means if v is a volume enclosed by s yes, then v is a bounded by the surface z is equal to 0 comma z square is equal to x square plus y square and f bar also they are given so whenever s is a closed surface can we apply the gauss divergence theorem or not yes we can apply the gauss divergence theorem in this case by gauss divergence theorem what we have the formula that is double integral s f bar dot n bar ds is equal to triple integral v del dot f bar dv or else you can also write this is a div f bar dv right now you see we, if you want to evaluate this is the, it is enough to evaluate the rhs part right now del dot f bar divergence you require so del dot f bar that is div f bar is equal to do f1 by do x plus do f2 by do y plus do f3 by do z okay now see with respect to f1 is what here i question f2 is j question f3 is k question what you have f1 4xz i'll write here you see f1 also i'm writing f1 is equal to 4xz i plus x y f bar i'm writing f bar sorry x y z square j plus 3 z k this is z friend here it is a friend sorry it is a z here so 3 z k 3 z k now with respect to x f1 with respect to x do it then what you are getting actually that is 4 z plus with respect to y do it then x z square with respect to z here you have a 3 into z now, so 3 only this is del dot f bar therefore the double integral f bar dot n cap ds is equal to triple integral v 4z plus xz square plus 3 times of dv what is dv here dv is a volume then you can write in the quotation form that is a dx dy dz little bit volume that is dx dy dz so we need to evaluate this triple integral is nothing but we require the limits also so we require the limits which limits they are given directly you see they are given the plane z is equal to 0 to where it is z is equal to 4 so z limits directly we have so z limits we have directly 0 to 4 next i want uh, which limits here x and y limits but here you have the cone x square plus y square is equal to z square so in this case first case whenever z is 0 you will have x square plus y square is equal to uh, here x square plus y square is equal to 0 and uh, x square plus uh, y square is equal to 4 one more thing you have yes or no it is nothing but from a point origin uh, x square plus y square equal 0 is nothing but origin and it moves like this one x square plus y square circle but here you see it is a circle but it is a actually cone from the cone you cannot take like uh, x square plus y square equal 0 then y is equal to like this we cannot take because if you are taken that way then we won't get the region cone in this case what we have to do means uh, already i know the z values no? so if you want to uh, write the y values then keep x is equal to 0 put x is equal to 0 if you put x is equal to 0 then y square is equal to z square then y is equal to plus or minus z that's it y is equal to plus or minus z next i want uh, which value another i want x value so x square is equal to z square minus y square then x is equal to plus r minus square root of z square minus y square so these are the limits you have to take x limit is from 0 to 4 and y limits are minus z to plus z and x limits are minus square root of z square minus y square to plus z, uh, square root of z square minus y square you need to take like this we have to take otherwise the cone uh, the reason cone you won't get right now these are the limits i am writing here for our convenience, I will write uh, in the next page. Friends, in this page, I have written 
the, the previously what we are discussed no? so limits of uh, x are this one limits of y and the limits of z dx dy dz so now you observe you want to evaluate integration first with respect to uh, what variable you have to decide this is z limit this is y limit and this is for x limit here x is dependent on two variables so first you have to integrate with respect to what x right here you observe friend this is a uh, 4z and this is plus 3 these are constant and here you have xz square x power how much 1 x power 1 nothing but it is a even function or odd function odd function only friends in the definite integral we have integral a to b f of x dx is equal to 0 if it is odd when f of x is odd and 2 times of integral 0 to a f of x whenever it is even Okay, if you have a doubt, I will explain here, you see, for you for your clarification, integral a to a, x to dx is. Now, x integration is what actually? x square by 2, limits from minus a to a. So, 1 by 2, if you take outside, then upper limit is a square, minus lower limit is minus a whole square is nothing but a square. Is so, what you are getting here? 0. Right, why I am saying this one means, because it is, x is there, xz square, so this term will become a 0. That purpose only I am explaining. And uh, whenever constant is there also, you see minus a to a, uh, minus a to a, 1 dx is there. Then what you will let here, this is upper limit, uh, means here, sorry, integral of 1 is with respect x is x, a. So this is uh, a, minus of minus a means plus a, nothing but 2a. And also you can add uh, integral 0 to a, this is 2 times of integral 0 to a, right, uh, dx is equal to also 2 times of 1 integration x, limits from 0 to a is 2a. So, friends, you see constant if it is there, then write down 2 times of 0 to a. Constant or even function if it is there, then you can write like this. If it is the odd function is there, then you can write a 0. So, in this case, this term won't be, this term will be 0. So then rest of 2 will be as to and the limits are also as is. Right. Now, in this case, I am writing the limits here and just I am removing this xz square term. Then the rest of term is as it is. That is, integral z is equal to 0 to 4. Integral y is equal to z to uh, minus z to z and integral x is from minus square root of z square minus y square to plus square root of z square minus y square into 4z plus 3 into dx dy dz. Now we have to integrate this one. Right. We have to integrate. Now here you see integrand is 4z plus 3. But integration with respect to what actually dependent variable. What is the dependent variable here you have? x. x is the dependent on two variables but uh, y is also dependent variable but it is uh, dependent on one variable only so first you have to integrate with respect to x okay now here it is a constant constant integration is nothing but here you have z only of course i told you just now you can add this is a two times of zero to a so what i can add uh, two times of integral zero to four integral uh, minus z to z and integral zero to square root of z square minus y square times of four z plus three into dx dy dz so now 2 outside no? integral 0 to 4 minus z to z. Now if you integrated with respect to uh, x first, so 4z plus 3 is a constant. Now dx quotient is 1, so 1 integration is with respect to x is x. Limits from 0 to square root of z square minus y square into dy dz. Then in this case you will have 2 times of integral 0 to 4 and minus z to z. This is 4z plus 3 times of square root of upper limit is, this is x friends, x z square minus y square minus lower limit is 0 into dy dz now you see friends uh, now we have to integrate with respect to x or y this is the limit for x and this is limit for y now uh, y is dependent on uh, z so you have to integrate with respect to y first integrate with respect to y later we have to integrate with respect to one second please this is the limit for z integrate with respect to z now if you want to integrate this one for the convenience i have written again here in the next place you see now we are integrating with respect to y so this bracket derivative is not a beset so you cannot reintegrate directly so go for the standard formula standard formula square root of a square minus y square dy is equal to y by 2 square root of a square minus y square plus a square by 2 sin inverse y by a. actually we have formula general formula a square minus x square dy square root of a square minus x square dx is equal to x by 2 sin inverse of uh, excuse me, uh, x by 2 square root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse uh, x by a. Okay, in place of x you have y, in place of uh, a you have uh, z. So, replace, then I already integrated, na? so integral from 0 to 4. If I integrated, this will be removed. Now, 4z plus 3 is uh, as it is. Now, if I done, then I will get here. This is uh, square root I have, na? 
so this is y by 2 y is nothing but here y by 2 only square root of z square minus y square and dy uh, plus a square by 2 is nothing but z square by 2 sin inverse this is z by a y by a you have no y is nothing but what here in this case y only a is nothing but here z y by z limits from where to where limits from minus z to z minus z to z so into you have a dz so 2 times of integral 0 to 4 integral 0 to 4 4 z plus 3 times of in place of y you substitute z then what i will get here this is a z square minus z square will be 0 now this is z square by 2 sin inverse z by z sin inverse z by z is nothing but 1 ok minus lower limit you substitute here lower limit if you substitute minus z whole square is nothing but minus of z whole square is minus z square is nothing but z square that is z square minus z square is 0 so this term is again a 0 plus if you substitute minus z then you will have again z square by 2 and this is sin inverse of minus z sin inverse of minus z by z is minus 1 so you can add minus outside then you will have a sin inverse 1 only that's it into you have a z now you simplify this is minus of minus plus so 2 times of you can write nothing but might be it will be even term might be it is a even term we are not verified but anyway you even if you are done then you will get same answer minus of minus is plus so you can write here two times you will have no so that is nothing but here four times of integral zero to four four z plus three times of z square by two sine inverse one into tz now you have to integrate with respect to z here so this is 4 actually what are the terms you have to take outside sin inverse 1 sin when you will get 1 actually sin 0 0 sin 19 uh, so 4 pi by 2 integral from 0 to 4 already 2 is there here so you will have a 4 only integral 0 2 times of uh, pi by 2 is nothing but pi by 4 only uh, so this is if you multiply z square inside then you will have 4 z cube plus 3 z square into dz that is 4 4 cancel then you will have pi and now integrate with respect to z then you will have 4 z power 4 by 4 plus 3 z cube by 3 limits from 0 to 4 this is 3 one second pi 4 z power 4 by 4 plus 3 z cube by 3 limits from 0 to 4 ok so 3 3 cancel 4 4 cancel pi now 4 to the power of 4 is nothing but 256 plus uh, 4 cube is nothing but 64 so 64 plus 256 is nothing but here 320 so 320 pi is the answer is it clear for everyone right thank you for watching this video